You're not going to want to miss this episode of the AI Show where we talk all about Azure AI Video Indexer with LLM Prompts. My friend Oren, make sure you tune in. Hello and welcome to this episode of the AI Show where we're talking all about Azure AI Video Indexer with LLM Prompts with my friend Oren. How are you doing, my friend? Doing well. Thanks, Ed. Fantastic. Tell us who you are and what you do. Hi, uh, so I'm a principal researcher at the Azure Video Indexer team. I'm working with uh, AI models, push uh, state of the art into Azure. Fantastic. So for those that don't know what Video Indexer is, can you give us a little bit of an overview? Yep, definitely. Uh, Video Indexer is a cloud service that analyzes media on the cloud, meaning audio and video using multiple AIs like facial recognition, text, um, speech to text, uh, understanding who said what and when, understanding the topics of the video, and all of that is available both on our web portal and through the API. It helps media companies, but also non-media companies to understand their content, monetize it, make it accessible to visually and uh, hearing impaired people and making the most out of their huge meta uh, metadata and uh, video archives. So this is awesome. So can you get dive into a little bit more, because you mentioned some of the data, but I, I'm seeing a screen here that has a ton of metadata. Can you tell me a little bit more about the kinds of things that you're, you're actually getting? Yep. So here you're showing the player page of Video Indexer. We can see uh, on the right hand side some of the insights that we can extract from this almost two hours video. Here we can see 180 plus people were detected, recognized over the timeline. We can see objects, we can see topics uh, that were uh, recognized and inferred over the uh, transcription and other insights from the video. Audio effects split into uh, shot and scene segmentation and other interesting insights that help companies to search and leverage their, their content at scale. So this is so, amazing. Uh, and the question that I that I generally have is, because I'm all about Gen AI and this is about LLM prompts. Tell us a little bit about what you mean by augmenting LLMs with, with this particular data. Right. So this LLM era has uh, came to us as well, where we kind of tried to uh, leverage our, all this rich metadata into an accessible format for language models to consume. That means that language model we will be able to both search over huge a metadata archive video index that we produce and inter interact with a chatbot using a grounding, uh, using a RAG format retrieval augmented generation over vector databases that uh, we can help to produce. Interesting. So there's an example that you that you brought. So let me let me bring it up here. Uh, so this is a front end to what you're saying. And I'm just going to click on the middle one to see what it returns. So yep. as this is going on, uh, let me let me click on the video here. Um, yeah. So this business question actually applies to uh, the entire media archive. And if you'll click the video, you'll see that uh, ChatGPT was able to reason about the question you asked and uh, jump to the right moment in the video where uh, this question was answered. Yeah, this is awesome. Let me play a little bit. In Japan, the ratio of uh, people playing games on mobile phones is uh, uh, the highest uh, among the among the developed uh, nations in the world. So, in so it was able to go to the exact location to the exact video to answer this particular question. Yeah, and if you click the supporting content tab, you will see. Uh, the items that were retrieved using the RAG paradigm with uh, different insights that are uh, explained here. So we are using few shots 
to reason about a huge data set and help ChatGPT uh, answer the, the question. So, so uh, this, is, this he, is amazing, but my understanding is that your data kind of looks like this right now, right? Yep. So this is our JSON file where we have made real effort to disentangle all multimodal information, meaning the OCR and transcript and faces that were detected across the timeline. So there are a few thousand uh, rows in this uh, huge JSON file. But this time what we're trying to do is uh, uh, segment the video over time semantically into coherent uh, sections and put all the multimodal information into textual format that is accessible for a text encoder or a language model to consume. I see. So in, in fact, what you're doing is Video Indexer has this treasure trove of data, very finely and minutely tuned. And what you're doing is you're creating from this a textual semantic representation that can can be indexed, for example, to be used in like the RAG pattern for LLMs. Yep. And if you'll skip to the API, you can see uh, that we provide this via two API calls to create the prompt content and to, to get it. On the right-hand side, you can see the JSON that it creates, uh, which has essentially multiple sections. For example, the first section starts from the beginning of the video and ends after over one minute where you can see that in this item, uh, President Zelensky uh, has appeared and the transcript is uh, describing the, this uh, news item with the U Ukrainian uh, whatever happened uh, yeah. that day. And essentially putting all multimodal information into textual format that is accessible to a text encoder or a large language model. And the two use cases could apply both for search, like we've done with the RAG pattern, or to uh, support a generative uh, model like uh, ChatGPT, for example, to reason about a question from that sort and to even summarize uh, the, the, the events that happen in the video. So this is awesome. In effect, what you're doing is all of the data that you've gathered, you know, the the people in the video, the things that are happening, descriptions, uh, audio that's been converted to a transcript. Effectively, you're creating chunks that then can be put into an index or some other place that can be used to do retrieval augmented generation later. Right. And two interesting uh, points to add to that. We optimize it both to summarization and search and also to multiple uh, supported uh, models like uh, Phi2, GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and others, Llama 2 as well. And uh, we also don't bill on, on this. So you only pay for what you index, and essentially you can leverage this capability with no uh, additional cost. I see. So is this just exporting it or are you also indexing or is the index happening something in like, somewhere in like Azure AI search? So from that point, you would need to embed it with your preferred embedding, like with Azure Open AI, for example. And then you can leverage your uh, preferred uh, vector database like uh, Azure AI search, for example. So th this is amazing. Um, I, I, I've th this totally makes sense. Effectively, you're making it much easier to leverage the data that you're getting out of Video Indexer to do really anything. But in this case, it's a really useful thing to do uh, when you're doing the RAG pattern with an LLM because you could literally search across all of your videos and get to the exact spot where these things are, are happening. Exactly. This is awesome. So where can people go to find out more? So first, you can go to uh, the blog that we've published and the documentation, and everything is uh, is available there. Fantastic. So this is the this is the actual documentation that you're talking about. And then if you want to see how the API works, you can you can actually go here the prompt content API details. And then finally, if people want to get started with Video Indexer, where do they go? 
So just to the portal, videoindexer.ai and start indexing. You get a free trial and you can convert it uh, using your Azure sub subscription into an uh, un unlimited account. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, Seth. Pleasure to and, be here again. And thank you so much for watching and learning all about Azure AI Video Indexer with LLM prompts, a really handy tool to do some amazing stuff. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time. Take care.